Well, we continue along here from Coe's BMW and the Ram Report with head coach Jim McElwain, Brian Roth with you. And as you can see, joined on set by former Ram All-American and 1995 Jim Thorpe Award winner, Greg Myers. Greg, is he's everywhere. And you see him on the horn, the quarterly uh, magazine put up by Ram Athletics. And, of course, he was at Sunny Lubick Field last night for homecoming, honored at halftime as you're going to go into the college football Hall of Fame. That had to be quite uh, an experience last night, and they had Coach Lubick right there with you. Oh, it's great to come back to CSU anytime, but to have Coach Lubick there, enjoy it with my family, and uh, it was just a great experience. Yeah, Jim, I, I know you know a lot about Greg Myers, and yeah. so much so you brought him in to speak with the team earlier this year. And, and did an outstanding job, and, and, and part of what we're trying to develop is obviously taking a look into our past. And here's one of the greatest ever. I mean, here's, here's a guy that wins the award for the best player at his position. And yet when he spoke to our team, what resonated with them was it wasn't about him. It was about his teammates. It was about all the people involved with the Rams. And uh, that's what's so important. Yeah, and again, if you don't know what the Jim Thorpe Award is, it goes out to the best defensive back in the entire nation and, and certainly Greg was that that year what kind of described that 95 season you guys end up in the Holiday Bowl another fantastic year back-to-back -back Holiday Bowl appearances and you return three kicks for for touchdowns as well you know it's it, looking back and it was a great time sitting down on the field yesterday looking at some highlights and you realize and you kind of reminisce and walking around the stadium with my kids and you see all the names that are up up there on the uh, Hall of Fame type of things or the Hall of the Legends and uh, you look at them, I knew a lot of those people. And, you know, and you, it takes a team to get there. The individual awards come, um, but the team success really kind of builds, builds up to that. And uh, looking back there, you know, 94, 95 season, you know, it started years before that, working hard, building up, not having winning seasons um, to get to that point. And, you know, I know, Jim, you like to get guys, everyone likes to get guys like Greg Myers on their football team. But, you know, Coach Lubick came in when you were a sophomore and started to turn around the program and build that foundation. You need some guys like, like a kid like Greg Myers to get that done, don't you? Oh, absolutely. And, uh, you know, just, just, you know, I mean, he was with some wonderful people while he was here. But it shows the quality, not only of his experience as a player, but also obviously what he's done in life. It shows what our university is capable of producing, a guy like this. And, and that's something that we can all be proud of. Give me an idea of what was going through your head when you got the phone call and said, hey, you're going to be inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. I think it started even before that when they said you're going to be on the ballot. And then I looked at the ballot and I said, there's absolutely no way. Okay, that's great. And you started going down the list of actually people that have been inducted. You know, the Fon McGraw, some of these other people that, you know, are just, to me, are like, wow, I'm not in that category. Um, but when you look back at our seasons, our 94, 95 season, look at the people we played with, look at the facilities, um, the people that were running the facilities, our staff, the players, the coaches. I mean, it really came together very, um, in, a, in a unique and great way. Yeah, we mentioned Sonny Lubick was on the field with you on uh, Saturday against Fresno State. Talk a little bit about his impact on you, maybe not only just as a player, but uh, as a man. You know, Sonny Lubick is one of those uh, coaches that uh, you want to win for, you want to play for, um, and you don't want to let down. And, uh, the, you know, it, it's, it's great to see him again. It was great to be out on the field with him again. Um, but uh, he's a coach that you just don't want to, you don't want to disappoint. Yeah. Absolutely. Any particular memories of fondness from the 94-95 season that kind of stick out when you think back to that season, maybe this memory or that memory comes up? Well, you know, I have a couple of memories I always talk about, and one of them was going down to Arizona and beating the fifth-ranked team in the country uh, at Arizona, um, then going to LSU and beating LSU at LSU. I didn't even play in that game, but it's a highlight of my uh, career back then um, yeah. to watch that and watch everything. Um, it is some great memories. Now here's the Thorpe Award. It, uh, it's been sitting in your house. And, and Jim, I know you uh, did some work to get uh, a Thorpe Award, just like this one, in the McGraw Center. Right. You know, I mean, uh, part of reaching back is, is uh, involving all the great players that we've had there. And when I looked around the facility and, and uh, found out that we didn't have one of these, uh, you know, it's something that we need to promote. And, and uh, Greg was good enough to actually come when we did get it and and actually we found a trophy case just for it and and uh, and and we're really excited about that and you know what the impact he had on our guys when he spoke to them and when he showed this trophy and said look it can happen here 
and it has happened here. And those are the things that we're really reaching back for. Yeah, and, and I know one of the things you probably stress to your team too, here, here's a guy who epitomizes what it means to be a student athlete. Absolutely, and, and obviously uh, you know, what he's done after football is what it's all about, and that's what I talk to our guys constantly. The lessons you learn, the foundation that's built, that's going to help you for the rest of your life. Greg, you live in Denver now. Can you fill us in on how life has gone after graduation? Well, it's great. You know, I just finished schooling, what, just two years ago. Yeah. So I'm just, you know, a professional student. <laughs> um, but uh, being the, the last two years um, in academics still, teaching anesthesia, um, practicing anesthesia, but teaching it, um, it's, it's been great. Um, enjoy it. Denver Health is, uh, is one of the level one trauma centers that kind of the outreach. Um, and so it's a great place to work, and I'm enjoying it. Right, final thought before we let you go. I know you and I had a conversation about Coach Jim McElwain here. I, I know you're a, you're a big proponent of what Jim is doing and turning around this proud football program. You know, it's, you know the first time I, I met him, it was, it was, it was, I had a great feeling about it. You know, his, his, <laughs> his uh, Jim Thorpe thing, getting it into the, <laughs> into the actual halls over there and bringing the tradition back was something that just kind of struck me. I was like, oh, no, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. It, we don't need one. And he's like, absolutely not. It's yeah. a tradition. It needs to be there. It needs to be what is expected, and uh, and it, it was maybe uh, feel good about the future of uh, CSU. Yep. So the fiery side of coach. <laughs> well, I tell you what. The interesting thing is, is, is he's in anesthesiology, which is the way he played. Yeah. He knocked him out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Greg, thanks so much. Uh, Jim Thorpe Award. It's a magnificent award, and I'm glad now it's in the McGraw Center. Thanks for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Okay, that's Greg Myers, again, the former Ram All-American. He'll be inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame coming up in December. All right, stay with us. We'll switch gears, talk Ram volleyball when we come back here on the Ram Report.